You did say you tended to gravitate towards the Diane Chambers character. You found a voice to write for. What was the connection there? Well, just because she, <laughs> she, like I, is a big intellectual blowhard. Do you know? <laughs> you know, so a, a little pretentious and uh, willing to show off what she knew. And, uh, you know, that's sort of me in a nutshell. <laughs> but I also like Frazier for that reason, too. And but um, so I guess there is some truth maybe to because you know if we if we were going to for of course I could write Sam as well as anybody but if it was getting down to specific things about sports stuff I'm not a big sports guy so my partner Peter's a big baseball fan so he would know all that stuff so he'd know how how base if we were talking very specifics about sports uh, how it behave but unless that I mean short of that uh, you know I was able to write Sam as well as I was able to write Diane or or Norm or Cliff or, you know, there. Do you think Shelley Long saw you as a voice for her? Probably not, uh, probably not. You know, that, that, that line between uh, the writers and the, and the actors is, it was very cordial on, on, on that set. Um, but it, it, it's sort of like the, what is the membrane that separates the brain from the skull, you know? It worked quite well, but you're really not aware that it's there. <laughs> so the, the actors really didn't know, um, wouldn't know who was writing what. Or um, the the one thing I do remember is um, one of the great things I learned about how to run a show, particularly at run-throughs, is you know all the writers would come down and, and line up, and then the actors would do the thing, and then you'd discuss it. But the rule was anybody could talk to anybody, so it wasn't like oh, the executive producer only talks to the director and then that gets passed on to the actors, which is the way it is on a lot of shows. And I, and I, and I found it very destructive um, uh, and, a, and a good way to harbor ill feelings. Um, uh, you could, you, so I could, as, as third man on the totem pole, I could talk to any actor that I want or give a note or get into a discussion with Ted or Shelley or, or Rhea or John or any, anybody about, about something that's going in the character. So I think there may be some, some idea of, 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 of an actor having a knowledge of somebody maybe being, being a little more, um, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sympathetic to their character.